Okay, so yes, if you didn't know, my name is Jade or Auntie Jade. I don't like that. I don't have it. I do like that. I don't have in, any nieces and nephews yet, so that's great. So I'm going to show you this poster again that has all the books of the Bible on it. Put up your hand if you can tell me which book we have been looking at in church recently. Molly? You remember? It's over on this. It starts with a Remember? Sage? One Peter, that's right, that's what we're looking at today. And to help us understand the part that we're looking at a little bit better, I think we need to play a game. So I need everybody to stand up. And I'm going to stand up here too. Can this clip on here? Okay, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. So if you haven't played that before, if I say Simon says do something, you guys just have to do it. Pretty easy. Well, there you go. Danny's already started. All right, are you ready? Simon says, put your hands on your hip. Great. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Simon says, do this move with your hips. Oh, yeah, very good. Okay. Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch your elbows. Simon says, reach your sword, you can to the sky. Great. And Simon says, sit on your bottom. Pretty good, hey? Pretty quick. Well, this one isn't tricky. Sit on the ground, buddy. Because in the part of Peter that we're looking at today, it tells us to live in the same way Jesus did. Okay? And what you guys did was you just did the same thing I did. Okay? I didn't trick you. Jesus doesn't trick us. All right, so you just have to do what Jesus does. Sounds simple, right? Okay, so that means in the same way Jesus served, we are to serve. So put up your hand if you can think of a way that we can serve. Molly. Oh, that's right. Listening to God is going to be a good, vi- good advice, isn't it? What's a way that we can serve Elsa? Great. Make meals for people, awesome. Any other idea? Yep. Oh, great. So you could give money to charity. That's a way to serve. Basically, there's heaps of things we could do. If we are doing something for somebody else, then we're serving them. Awesome. I know, I'll I'll ask him later. Okay. And in the same way that Jesus sacrificed, we are to sacrifice. So put up your hand if you can think of a way that you could sacrifice. That's a trickier one. Yep. Freddie said that to me this morning as well. We don't need to literally sacrifice anything anymore. Jesus has done that for for us. It's a bit different. Yep. That's true. That's true. Let's think of things we can do in this time. Yep. Yeah, your time. Great. Now, I know somebody that recently their brother spilt their lemonade, and they didn't have any lemonade, and she sacrificed some of her lemonade so that her brother could have some. So they're the things we're going to give something up for somebody else. And in the same way Jesus submitted, we are to submit. So put up your hand. I like this one. If you can think of a way that you can submit. Yes? What about? Yep. Okay. I'm thinking if somebody like your mum or dad tells you to do something, you can do it, even if you don't really want to do it, okay? Then then the next part of Peter's letter says that we need to think about what's going on in the inside rather than the outside. So do you think when he says that, he's talking about we need to think about our squishy organs and our blood and our guts and all that? Is that what Peter's saying? We need to do think about that? No, no, no. I think he's telling us that we need to be worrying about what our heart's doing, rather than what we look like, whether our hair's fancy and that sort of thing. And when we grow up, if we decide to get married, that's the way we need to act in our marriages as well. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, before we pray, I thought we could do a quick practice of the memory verse. Put up your hand if you can remember some of the actions that Jess went through with you guys, yeah? All right, Neva, did you want to come up here? Anybody else? Molly, too? And Elsa, did you know some of the actions? Maybe, maybe, all right. So I'm going to put this around this way. And 
I remember Jess said, this is a really long one. So we'll practice the first part and then you guys can copy me for the end bit. All right, you can do as I do. Okay, let's go. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his possession, so that you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Now this bit I'm going to get you to copy. Once you were not a people. Once you were not a people. Too early. But now you are God's people. Copy. Now you are God's people. And this is another not one first. You had not received mercy. Your turn. You had not received mercy. But now you have received mercy. Great. So it's a long one, but I think we can do it. 1 Peter 2, 9 to 10. So I'll get you girls to sit back down and I'm going to pray now. I want you guys to copy. So no early birds. I'm going to hold the sheet so you can't see. Okay. Oh, you just already knew it. <laughs> okay. Heavenly Father, thank you for Peter's letter. That encourages us to live, serve, sacrifice, and submit in the same way Jesus did. Amen.